Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So if you are working with computer vision projects and you might have struggled to annotate your images and videos, so this video is for you. V7 annotation tool going to help you to annotate your images and videos in a much easier way and much quicker. So while annotating the images and videos, we might have to struggle with a lot of uh, inaccurate points or inaccurate data points to annotate those particular pixels. But with this V7 annotation tool, we're gonna annotate each and every pixels and even the image frames in a right and accurate way. So with this tool, you're gonna improve the accuracy of your annotation and also the efficiency of the uh, particular annotations. So while annotating the videos or images, your strength of annotating those pixels and videos points your strengths to get declined as, as soon as you start annotating more and more images and videos. So to increase that particular efficiency, V7 annotation tool uses automatic labeling over the images and videos. So in this particular tutorial, we are going to go over the auto annotation tool for V7 and we're going to see how easy it is to annotate the images and also the videos by using this automated labeling. So if you are enthusiastic about particular annotation tool and you generally work with the computer vision projects, so this tool might help you to improve your efficiency of working with the computer vision projects and also in the annotation process. So let's just jump into this. So first you need to log in into the V7 portal. So you have to click login button. And then once your login portal will open, your profile gonna open in the V7 uh, app. And then you're gonna take up your data set and upload it over here. So the first step is to upload your data set. So here I can see a new data set for myself. So I'm going to click on new data set and I'm going to give the name to the data set. So I'm just going to give a test data set as a name. And then I'm going to upload the images and the videos that I'm uh, looking forward. So once the data set is created, you want to have to upload the images. So you can just click and drag and drop over here. Or you can also use command line uh, functionalities to upload a data set over this particular v7 portal so i'm going to just upload a test image and also a video here in this particular data set so let me just select those particular videos and images so when you upload a particular video you're gonna see this kind of pop-up window popping up in your screen so this is asking us to set the frame for this particular selection so when you're going to select this particular frame for your object action, you have to set at least two FPS to create your own images for that particular annotation. So I'm going to select the two FPS as per the recommendation. And then I'm going to just click on upload. So once that process is done, uploading of the video is done and also the image, you can click on uh, continue button. And then you're going to have to select the classes here on the uh, right hand side. And then you can also give an instruction to the data set if you are annotating with the team so i'm going to just create a new class and i'm going to say a uh, class name a person and it will be a polygon i will add it so i will add one more class to this which will be football and it will be also be a polygon i'm also going to add one more class which is car and it also be a polygon so once the classes are being defined I'm going to just click on save and continue button and then it's going to take me to the workflow page. So right, right now I'm going to select the basic workflow, but once you uh, click on this pick template, it's going to take you to this particular main page. And then you have to click on this workflow button. You're going to see the workflow that has been created. So this is the basic workflow that you can see. So what does it says? You're going to take your data set. You're going to make it to annotate. You're going to pass it to the annotation team and then it's going to pass it to the reviewer team. And then if they're going to accept it, the, the annotation process is completed. And if they're going to reject it, then they're going to pass it back to the annotation team to re-annotate those particular uh, rejected images or videos. So this is the basic workflow that we can use it for now. But you can also use something called um, uh, assisted model labeling. So you can use this model, uh, assisted model labeling to re-annotate and help us to annotate the images and also the videos by by giving some examples to them and then retraining the process again and again by using those ai models so right now i'm just using this basic flow and i'm just going to save and apply this particular uh, basic flow and then once that is done we are, we are going to move forward towards the annotation process so once you click on this particular image and it's going to open a 
particular interface for you for you to annotate so on the left hand side you can see a lot of tools are available to annotate so one such tool is edit tool another one is auto annotation tool so this is the one that we wanted to look into it and then there is a tool called bonding box tool so this is going to help you to annotate your uh, or bonding box the the regions that are required for you to annotate and then there are tool like cuboidal tool it will help you to annotate the 3d objects and here is a tool that uh, that going to help you to annotate the key points of a particular skeleton body like key point tool is going to help you to do that and even the uh, key point skeleton tool going to help you to annotate the different body parts of the human being or any of the objects that you want to uh, extract the skeleton points right so these are different tools that are available to do but in this particular uh, video we want to see how we can auto annotate uh, the regions that we are required so in this particular image i just going to extract uh, or auto annotate the images of of a particular person and also the football so if you try to do it manually so let me just first try to do it manually it's going to take me a lot of time to do it so first to annotate i'm just going to use the polygon tool for image annotations if you are trying to do it for image segmentation so you have to use this polygon tool so i am just going to take up this tool and just trying to annotate this particular image uh, to just do an uh, annotation for this particular task right so i'm just going to display how 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 time consuming it is to annotate it using the manual way and and how beneficial it will be to auto annotate this by using an uh, auto auto annotation tool so let us first do it manually so let me just try to annotate it Okay, so now I have annotated manually uh, the person who is playing football, but you can see there are a lot of errors that I have made, and it took me thirty to thirty seconds without uh, doing with accuracy. So you can see, like, if you want to annotate this uh, manually, it is going to take a lot of time. But now let's suppose I just want to do it in an auto annotation way. So I am just going to select this particular region. Like, first let me select this particular tool, auto annotation tool, and then I am going to select this particular region where I want to annotate it. So let me let me just uh, drag and drop this particular location, and then let me run or let me select this particular class person, and then uh, it will automatically select this particular region that you're looking for, right? So and it has automatically tagged this particular region as a person. So likewise, if you want to annotate this particular uh, image like football, so first you need to select this particular class, like which class you want to uh, highlight it or extract it or you want to annotate it. So once you select that particular class. you going to just select that particular region uh like this and then it going to automatically annotate it for you this is how you can auto annotate the different regions that you are interested in and if i want to auto annotate all of this uh, uh persons over here it's going to take me like few seconds just just 2 to 3 seconds to just do this right so look how efficient it is to just auto annotate this particular pixels by using auto annotation tool and with you and you can also see there are a lot of Uh, accuracy associated with this particular annotation because there's certain model that is running at the back end which is which which is precisely doing all of this work for you and it is uh, it has been trained on large data set that can help you to annotate on many different objects so this is how you can annotate your images with using auto annotation tool and if you are working with lots and lots of images i think this auto annotation tool going to help you in improving your efficiency and also the accuracy of the annotations we as a human are very very sophisticated in marking the different pixels of an image and we are unable to mark with such accuracy so this kind of machine learning going to help you to auto annotate the pixels that are look that you are looking for and that it going to help you to annotate in a much efficient way so i think you should also start using this kind of uh, applications for for your particular computer vision projects So in my next task I'm going to take up this particular annotation to the next table by annotating it on videos. So you can see by by annotating it on images how much time it took. But if you see a video it going to take you a lot of time because a video consists of lots of images. And if you try to annotate a, a particular video by using a manual annotation it's going to take you a lot and lot of time. So let me just set up a so let me just go back and just try to annotate the video part right? So let me just open that particular video that we just uploaded, and then from here I'm going to just annotate the particular car by using an auto annotation tool. So I'm going to just 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 select this particular car, and just give the car as a class, and it will automatically get it for me. And then you can see there are some extra part that are coming up here, right? 
So I'm going to click it here and it will automatically adjust it for me. You can see there's also extra part that's coming up with the car and then I'm going to select internally and then it will automatically adjust this for me, right? So this is how you can also uh, recorrect the annotations that are missed uh, annotated by the particular model and then that's how you're going to get the best images. So if you're using it, uh, this particular tool like automation tool, then it's going to help you to annotate this particular car in a much easier way. And if you're trying to annotate this particular car in a manual, then it's going to take a lot of time to annotate it. And with, with that particular accuracy, so you can see a slot and much easier to do with this particular V7 tool. So now let me just start annotating this particular video uh, over this particular car frame by frame. So you can see on the on the bottom side, you can see the 94 images are being present for this particular frame. And then you're going to stretch this particular class car class to all the frames, right? So it's it's taking up to the 94 frames and then frame by frame, you have to keep on annotating. So now let's go to the next frame to annotate the position of a car in that particular frame, right? So you can see the car has moved and the model is unable to capture that particular car. So we're going to readjust this particular frame and you can see the model has automatically dated the annotation for that particular car for that particular two second frame, right? And the next frame, we're going to see the car has moved further and then you can see we're going to have to readjust this particular frame to re-annotate the calculations and uh, get the right annotations for you. And again, the next frame and the next frame. So you can see I have skipped one frame and I have just tried to jump to the fifth frame. You can see the model has automatically created that there is a car and it is segmented it out, right? So you can see I'm not annotating all of the uh, uh, frames that are available. Instead, I'm just going to select this particular frames that I'm looking forward and just I'm going to adjust this particular part of it. So you can skip the uh, frames uh, in between and you can try to annotate the other frames that are available and then uh, the skipped frames will be automatically interpolated by the annotations that you are doing. So you didn't have to be doing annotations for all of your frames. You can skip some of the frames and it will interpolate the frames for which you haven't annotated and it will give you a segmented image for those particular frames as well. So this is the beauty of this particular auto annotation tool that's gonna help you to annotate this particular uh, videos in a much faster way. So you don't have to annotate each and every frames for your annotations. You can skip some of the frames for the, for, for the particular machine to do the annotation for you. So that's how it is useful and that's how the uh, easy it is to use this particular uh, V7 tool for your annotation. So if I just play this particular tool, you can see it's, it's trying to annotate all of the pixel for that particular image, right? So that's how you can uh, try to do annotations. So now if I try to play this particular video frame by frame, you can see the model has automatically interpreted for the frames which, which we haven't annotated, right? You can see it is able to drag the car frame by frame with that particular segmentation, right? So that's the beauty of this particular uh, V7 tool. So my standpoint for this particular tool is, so if you're working you, with your computer vision projects, if you struggle to annotate such such kind of uh, images and videos, you can utilize this particular V7 tool and it is free for students, professors and the researchers. So you can utilize this particular tool for your own purpose. And then you can also leverage this particular automated annotation tool for your own purpose of annotation, right? And with this accuracy, I'm amazed to see that V7 tool has provided a great work and uh, thumbs up for that. And it has been able to give me a pixel perfect annotations for myself and I have utilized it for my own purpose also. So it has reduced the amount of work that a particular human being has to do as a manual work while annotating the particular images or the videos. So this can dram dramatically reduce the effort that you need to work, right? So I think V7 tool is a very useful tool and you can utilize it for your computer vision projects to auto annotate your images and videos in a pixel perfect way. That's it for this particular video. Thank you.